In this video, I'm going to talk about the three different types of code window links. So I can see those different links in the inspector. We have an activation, a deactivation, and an exclusive link. I'm going to talk about the shortcuts for these three things, and also talk about some common um, uses of these different links. So the first one's the activation link. The shortcut for that is holding down the control and option keys on my keyboard and clicking from one button to the other. And you'll see that green arrow pop up. Now an activation link is just that. When I click this label now, it's going to activate this player name code button. Now this is a common use of this link, especially in basketball where we have a code button for the player's name and then the different shot results as labels. So here I click negative two, it's going to activate this code button for me while adding this label. And I can see that on my timeline if I hover over this particular button. Next one is deactivation link. That is the opposite of an activation link where it turns off another button. So the shortcut for that is control and shift. And again, click from one button to the other and I'll see this red arrow pop up. Now a common implementation of this is you have something like a turnover turning off a position button. So team one is in position, they turn the ball over. So I click turnover and using this deactivation link, it's gonna turn this button off. The last type of link is, is the exclusive link. Now this one gets a little bit more complicated because there's kind of two different uses for it. When I have two code buttons, so here we have team one and team two being two different code buttons. If I had an, active, uh, an exclusive link between these two buttons, now the shortcut for an exclusive link is holding down just the control key. It will be this blue line. That means only one of these two buttons can exclusively be on at a time. So the most common use of an exclusive link is between two position buttons, because obviously a team can't be in position and out of position at the same time. So team one is in position, and because it's exclusively linked to team two, when I click team two, it's gonna turn off team one. However, there is another use for the exclusive link. When you exclusively link a label to a code button, there is a different function. So again, I'm gonna hold down the control button and add minus two, oh, I need to be in edit mode, minus two to player name with an exclusive link. Now you'll actually see there's a color difference between the two exclusive links. You'll see that more clearly up here. So between two code buttons, it's this dark blue. Between a label and a code button, it's this light blue. Now the function of an exclusive link between a label button and a code button is that that means that this label button can exclusively go to this code button. So typically labels connect themselves to whatever button is open or the last button pushed. But you'll see here, even if I have team one open or team one pushed down, when I click negative two here, even though this button is on, because negative two is exclusively linked to player name, it will only attach itself to the player name button and not team one. So now if I deselect team one and I hover over that, you'll see negative two is not connected to team one, but it is connected to player name. And that's because it was exclusively linked to player name. So really there's like three and a half different types of links, not just three. Now the last thing I wanna talk about is in your toolbar up here at the very top, when you first open sports code, by default, you won't have this option up here to hide, um, to hide your links, have your links below the buttons, or have your links above the buttons. You won't have this option at all. So to show you how to get this option, if you right click this gray toolbar and go customize toolbar, you'll be able to drag this links option up here into the toolbar. So those, were, those are the three or three and a half different types of links in sports code code windows.